So between a half mile and a mile away, it was big and quiet. Did Hudson Valley resident Robert Strong see a UFO? There is something going on. With thousands of similar accounts across the country each year. <laughs> Military pilots, Army personnel, the U.S. Navy now, all of them have reported different types of sightings. And even NASA is conceding it's possible the universe contains different life forms. We do know that the phenomenon is real. Experts say the race is heating up to find answers as to who they are, where they're from, and what they may want from us. Let's go over this way here. Sam Falvo. I'm an engineer by trade. And Chris DiPerno. I'm a retired major crimes detective. Investigate unidentified flying objects for the New York chapter of the Mutual UFO Network, or MUFON, a global organization established in 1969. Most of them, 95% or so, can be identified. It's those 5 or 6% that, that really stir your interest that we can't explain. What they do has long been considered a fringe field of science, but today the search for answers has gone mainstream, with prestigious universities including Harvard and Penn State dedicating some of their brightest minds to this as a new field of study. We want to get their reply. And then there's the private sector funding everything from digital, interstellar communication to a dish that emits radio waves. These attempts to communicate with the extraterrestrial world are a bit more high-tech than the recording of unique sounds scientists played from the two space probes in the 1970s. Activity in the pine bush area is so common. But could some answers actually lie closer to home? Author and researcher Linda Zimmerman has investigated some 500 eyewitness accounts of UFOs in the Hudson Valley. There is the possibility that they are drawn to the water here, the river and the lakes and reservoirs, but also this area area has a very unique magnetic field and gravitational field. Zimmerman and Falvo's organization have now formed a joint venture called Project Ares with the hope of collecting as much human intelligence and data as possible with your help. We need you to come forward and tell us of your experiences.